Hello everybody and welcome back to Banning Craig Estate. You'll see that we have the different tyres on the JCB. These are the wide tyres. The reason for having this is purely because today we're going to be doing a variety of different jobs and I just think that the wide tyres are going to be the most appropriate ones for us. It did originally have uh, the narrow tyres because we were doing the, uh, the sugar beet harvesting. Actually, thinking about it, the sugar beet still needs to be sold. We might be able to move on to that today, but I am planning on doing, well, initially, some work for the council. And secondly, Phenom 7, because they keep saying that Phenom 7 needs to be done, and it really does. We need to first of all spread some manure in there, and then we need to cultivate it. So, uh, yes, first things first, we need to cut these verges. You can see they're quite long. Um, it's not going to cut everything, the weeds won't be cut, but the grass should be. Um, so to do this, we're going to use a ferry, not a, as in a ship, a ferry hedge cutter or verge mower. Um, that is one thing which still has never been put into FS, and that is a hedge cutter, or the ability to even trim the hedges. It would be incredible, it really would. Um, but it's never been done, I don't think. Although I do seem to remember some form of mod a few years ago for FS 13 or 15, where I think the hedge was sort of designed the same way as grass, and it would trim the top. I never got to use it, though. I definitely saw either a video or some screenshots of it, but... Yes, uh, unfortunately, I can never actually find the mod. Okay, so, we need to go into the, the mower section just here. We can use the front counterbalance. I think I probably will do, although you don't have to. Uh, you, you can just use the mower itself. So, it's something we're going to require quite a bit, because we're going to do around the farm as well. So we're going to buy it. Here we go. And yes, we, I think we will do. We'll get the front counterweight. Because it has beacons and flashing lights and all that kind of fun stuff. So it should be a great thing to have on the farm. Before I forget, let me just put the currency to Great British Pounds. There we go. Because after all, this is Northern Ireland. So yes, it, it needs to be uh, pounds, really. So first of all, we'll stick the counterweight on the front. Hopefully the beacons just switch themselves on automatically. Yeah, there we go. So I'm assuming these come on with the uh, hazard warning lights, yes they do. Nice, look at that. Nothing like some flashing lights, it, it always transforms anything. I mean, who doesn't like flashing lights? It's just the funnest of things that you can stick on a tractor. Okay, here we go. Let's go and put the mower on the back. Uh, I suppose as well, actually, the wider wheelbase is going to give us um, a bit more stability. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we'll have to unfold it in a minute or two. Um, yeah, the traffic is no doubt going to be a pain, but it wouldn't really be verge mowing without the traffic. So, is this set up? This is set up for a European map, isn't it? Yes, we should have the hedge cutter the other way. Well, that's going to cause trouble, actually. I might have to turn the traffic off, unfortunately. But yes, uh, what we would normally do is obviously start to cut. The traffic would have to wait behind us, but as we're going to have to be on the opposite side of the road, it is going to uh, mess up our plans slightly. So, here goes. I'm going to have to rotate that head. Very, very carefully. And to actually use the arm to extend and retract it, I'm going to use the SATEC side panel. Actually, I can reach from this side of the road. It's just, <laughs> I don't think the traffic is going to go underneath it. Although, yes, if health and safety didn't exist, it could probably go over the top. Although it is still detecting it. Be gone, traffic. We require a bit of space. So, yeah, like I say, the, uh, the weeds that you see... Oh! The weeds that you see here, uh, they won't go because that is not actually a cuttable crop type in FS, uh, well in any of the FS's to be honest uh, I think it was first put in FS15 the weeds uh, but yes it is um, this sort of grass here that it will be able to cut so for this side it probably won't look too impressive but overall it is going to improve the look of the roadside um, so yeah this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be great fun I look forward to it so first things first let's just switch everything on just revving up. Okay, so I'm going to just extend that slightly. Oh, it's it's cutting quite a bit of it. It's pretty good. 
don't want to do what I have seen people do in real life before. And that is to take out signs and bollards. Seen it done quite a few times, and if I didn't see it happen, I've seen the aftermath of basically a shredded sign or a completely flattened sign. It, it must happen a lot because I've seen it around the UK an awful lot. Okay, so it's a bit. I suppose we're going to have to rotate the head. There we go. Go back for that piece there. It's quite a time consuming process, although I've got to say, when I have seen the council doing this, they absolutely fly. Their tractors, they go very fast. Certainly around where I live. I mean, they do it at, I would guess, I don't know, I don't know what speed, but it's got to be 10 to 15 miles per hour. They just go flying past. And actually, yes, it was when I saw one of the tractors doing that sort of speed when it shredded a cone right in front of my eyes. Hilarious. Oh, and of course, when I say a cone, I don't mean an ice cream cone, I mean a roadworks cone. Yes, it was in the long grass, and yes, <laughs> obliterated. It's working well. Very well. Oh, we've got another post just there. Oh, right on top of it, we've got a Matty Ferguson sale. Nice. Just got to be careful not to put it down too far. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to be doing this an awful lot. This is just a very quick bit of council work. We're getting paid for this. Um, yeah, we do need to prioritise our own field. Field number seven. So we'll basically go all the way down this side of the road, come back and do the other side as well. But it is neatening it up. It's looking better. It'll probably grow back in just a few days, but it's it's still uh, much better than just leaving it really long. Might have to just level the head off a bit. There we go. These flails really are good. So many of these bollards. We now have this piece here. Quite a lot of grass here. And yeah, I think actually I'll time lapse it all the way up to the top and then we'll come back and then we'll finish off. So yeah, absolutely brilliant mod. I really do like it. I've actually used this mod before on FS15. Um, it did disappear for a while. I, I tried to find it a while back for uh, 17, but actually, I think it was only released. Well, it was actually released quite a long time ago now, but yeah, it was not straight away. It was probably last year. Oh, we don't own the field. Nice. Okay, so there we go. I just watched the uh, flail slow down. That was very fast at slowing down. Y-shaped flail heads. Um, anyway, yes. Let's just um, let's just fold it back up. I need to figure out exactly how to pack it up correctly. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we have to fold that right back over, and then that should. Yeah, I, th I don't know. I I think I think that's how this one packs up. But yep, we're done. So I think what we'll do is, first of all, allow the traffic to come back. It should appear any second. Is that a car coming? Possibly. It is, yes. Uh, so yeah, the mayhem can continue. The traffic which parks in the middle of the road. But yeah, so over to the yard. I'm going to drop everything off here. Uh, we might need the JCP, I'm not sure. No, we probably don't actually. I can get away with using the other tractors. Uh, first things first, 
muck spreading, then cultivating, and then finally drilling. Try and get around here without crashing. That's a good shortcut, better than turning around in the middle of the road. Oh, that means our indicators must be massive. Oh, except... Wait, I am... I'm definitely indicating the correct way. It's all back to front. How strange. There's a car coming anyway. Interesting. So I have to indicate both ways. Oh, hello cars. Wasn't expecting you to be here on a public road. Phew, got past them. So yeah, we're going to go up to the new yard. I might call it the new yard. It's actually getting pretty old now. Uh, I did it fairly early on in the series. But I'm very pleased that I did. I really would have uh, struggled, I think, to store all of the machinery which we have in the current yard, which is this yard here. This piece here would now be grass. Uh, so yeah, very handy. Look how much space that has been used. I've used a lot of space. No more space to place new pallets of wool at the sheep. Okay, so we better prioritise that, I suppose. But there we go. That is the ferry hedge cutter slash flail verge mower sort of mod. Very nice indeed. Um, and actually, going back to that, I have used it before thinking about it. I've remembered. I never did it in a video in FS17, but the problem I had was this this front piece, the weight, um, didn't work. It would not load into the game, so that's obviously been fixed since, because it now does, which is nice. Anyway, um, yes, the Bobcat. It's going to be required quite a bit. I'll probably just run straight past it, no doubt. Uh, where's it gone? Ah, yes, here it is. Oh, and luckily we already have the pallet forks on, so that's good. And um, before I forget, there is the muck spreader, so we'll bring that back with probably that tractor just there. We'll drop off the uh, low loader. But yeah, we'll do the wool first. So that's that's the plan of action. Wool, manure, cultivating. And hopefully we can do all of that today. I don't think we'll get the drilling done today, because uh, that would be a big job. And to be honest, I'd prefer to let the soil settle a bit after it's had the manure cultivated into it. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's put some more strobes on. Strobes are good. Oh yes. It will be short-lived, but it was worth it. So as we know from a previous episode, it is going to be very difficult to get the one pallet out from in here. Uh, one of them has spawned in here. If we can get the bobcat through the gap, it won't be a problem. However, I don't know if we're going to be able to. We will soon find out. Oh, that was dead easy. Just got to get this out now, I suppose. That's the tricky part, because it is facing the wrong way. However, you would have thought we'd be able to get the tines into there. Hmm. Shame they're not adjustable tines. Success! It rotated. I managed to nudge it around. And now I've hit the wall, but yeah, it will it will definitely come out of here. Come on, wall pallet. I suppose we're gonna need the low loader. Because as far as I'm aware, we actually have loads of wool here. So it will be worth selling it all. Oh uh, I suppose um, I don't know, maybe if, if the price isn't good, then it maybe it isn't worth selling it. It's just I need to find somewhere to put it. Oh that's looking pretty good. So that's one low loader over there. The other one doesn't have the straps. This is the one with straps just here. Which is kind of annoying. I may have to take the bales off. I suppose, actually, yeah, the cows might actually take the bales now. Potentially. I'll check that in a second. Let's just move some pallets out from in here. There must be at least four... Yeah, five. Wow. It's quite a few. Um... That is going to convert into a lot of money. So, yes, we mustn't elapse too much time here, because otherwise the price is likely going to get worse. Uh, it can't get too much worse, but I need to rush. We do need to rush. So, yes, regarding the cows. Yeah, they actually have quite a bit of grass, although they take so much that it might take the majority of the trailer still. Everything else is looking absolutely awful. So this is going to have to be looked at in the next episode. Yeah, we'll do it in the next episode. Because I actually have another job to do in the next episode over at the Cops, which we planted, which actually hasn't progressed yet. But that's understandable, as only three hours of in-game time has passed 
since that episode. So yes, it's not really going to grow that quickly. I'm going to drop off this trailer here. I would prefer to unload the other bales and to use the straps because I think, judging from my past experience of going off-road and through the narrow gateways, it would not be wise to fully load a trailer with wool and expect it to stay on without straps because it just wouldn't do. I know it wouldn't do. I don't know if this is going to go up here though. Floor it. Ah! Dead stop. Ouch. Oh well. Uh, yes, we'll take the muck spreader back. And then we'll source out the other trailer. They've stopped again. It's the random stopping road. Little Massey is pulling this without any problem at all. That was surprisingly good. I suppose it isn't fully loaded, but still, that's not bad at all. Uh, I don't know if it could do the same with the uh, trailer. The uh, Chieftain trailer. It's worth a go, I suppose, if we need to move it, but... Let's take the bells off first. It will likely only be towing a trailer full of wool. That's the trick though, isn't it? What's heavier? A ton of wool or a ton of bales? And yeah, pretty pointless question because I should think everybody's just gone and said it's exactly the same. But if you didn't say it's exactly the same, then did I catch you out? Probably not, but still, yeah, that, that was a fail. Okay, so <laughs> here, is the, uh, here is the trailer. Drop those off there. Take the straps off. Uh, I want to carry as many as we can do down to the cows, but yes, I, I really don't know how many it's going to take. We don't have the spike on, but you'd have thought this would work just as well. Okay, this is going to be really pushing it, but I'm going to go for three. Three on a pallet fork. Sounds ridiculous. Come on. Yes. Now three should be nothing really. It should accept all of these without any problems. And anything which is left we'll have to just put into a store. Oh, it's tipping forward. Oh, oh good. Well, I can't be bothered with that. Let's just push it. It's only going to here. Oh, except I can't turn with the front wheels off the ground. Get in! Get in there. A cow wants to eat you. Move away. Right, that has pretty much filled it, so there's no point even attempting any more. It might take one more, but yeah, it's not really worth it. Uh, so, I don't know, the trailer is still really full. Where to put it all? That's the question. I really don't know. That is going to be really difficult. Um, well, if you bear with me, we can sort this out. no idea what that sheep is doing but still we have done all of that sorting out with the bales I'm just about to move all of these pallets onto here um, so that shouldn't take too long at all it's a very proud sheep clearly standing on top of there all done so we can't really just wait around we're gonna take a sheep with us clearly <laughs> it's on the back there uh, off you go you're not coming to the sheep wool cell point with us oh I didn't think about that 
can it pull it up the hill? Oh, it's that sheep again. It can. That's good. Okay, so yeah, we'll just take it over to the uh, wool merchant. And yeah, I think it can do it anyway. We'll make a load of money. Yeah, we should be okay, although we still have a very steep hill to contend with. And a fairly, yeah, tight corner. That's not a bad run up, 14 miles per hour. I worry we're going to be pulled back down to about 2. Or could it be 1? 2? Okay, well at least we're moving. That, that's the most important thing. If we were actually stopped with our wheel spinning, then yes, that would be a, a bit of a disaster because we'd have to reverse all the way back around the corner and everything. It really would be bad. Uh, but yeah, two miles per hour, I can live with that. Speed! That is some severe wheel slip. Whew. Now all we have to do is get out of here. Oh, there would be a car coming. Off you go, pick up. Oh, another car coming. Off you go, whatever you are. Good. Right, okay. So we are there. We can start to sell this and the price should be astronomical. It should be an absolutely incredible profit. Uh, I really do like doing the sheep. I think the sheep are my favourite animals in FS. So, yeah, I would just keep doing sheep. Might get a bit boring, but... We do have cows as well on this map, so it's alright. Okay, so when it starts to sell, I won't let it stop. We'll sell the whole lot. We should get a, a figure of the the bulk load of wool which we're selling today. So it turns out this has taken much longer than expected, so we're going to certainly get the muck spreading done. I need to get that all finished. Um, whether or not we're going to get the cultivating done, I'm not too sure. I think it's unlikely at this stage. But we do have a live stream coming up, so it'd be a great opportunity for the live stream if I can't do it in the next video. So... Yes, we have uh, common harvesting to do, cultivating to do, drilling to do. We've actually got to cut around the trees and the cops. Uh, hope it, hopefully that's going to grow fairly soon. Um, and yeah, it, it's uh, it's all progressing. Seriously loving this map. I, I, I'm i going to find it hard to stop. Uh, but we're going to have to stop around for uh, episode 40. Feel 40? Why did I say feel 40? Episode 40, yes. Um... Well, anyway, the final pallet is about to finish selling. Is it about £100,000? £93,211. Wow. I love doing the sheep wool. Brilliant. Really amazing. So, we're just trying to figure out the best way back. I think I might go left, actually. Yeah, we'll go this way. Um, I think we can cut across there, too, but we don't own the field, which is... Annoying. We should buy that field. We can afford it after all. Whoa! What's going on here? Literally, that was full breaking. Almost went to the back of it. Um, but actually, nothing is going on here. Just decided to stop. I'm guessing it's the tree. I don't know. Um, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, look! Somebody else is giving it a go. I'm going to stop bringing it up, because I know that it happens. It does happen. I just like poking fun at the AI and the traffic in FS. Oh, I <laughs> I've got stuck on it. I'm going to use the four-wheel drive tractor for this job. I think it might be better than using the two-wheel drive. So we're just going to wait here. I'm going to use the Bobcat to load it up. Uh, but yeah, we've seen it all before. It's actually a really good muck spreader. We use that bucket, we use that muck over there and this tractor so fairly smooth operation um, but yeah it's, it's all really worth it because it's free fertilizer it means we don't have to pay for the fertilizer which we put into the seed drill and arguably it is better obviously it's much more organic than putting the artificial stuff on the ground and yeah it's free it is pretty much free which is always nice so Field 7 is about to get a covering of poop.
Now that's it pretty much done. So all we have to do now is just put it back down there and we'll call it a day. I think that's, yeah, all the bits that were missed covered over as well. Uh, so yeah, it is done. The manure is in Fear Number 7, which has taken a while. I did say I was going to do this about two or three episodes ago, so I'm very pleased that it is done. Look at this mess in the yard, all the spilt chaff and grass and manure and stuff, but yes, it, it will be cleared up in due course. Or maybe it won't be. I'm not sure. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.